rant videos, because no one's done those before. Well, it's time for me to have a go. Basically, treasure hunts. Yeah, well, there's things that people go barking mad for. What's that? It's a spec. What is get off my... Look what you've done to my card, you... But yeah, anyway, I've got a sort of love-hate relationship with these. Uh, when I first found out about them, which was quite recently, because I've only just got back into buying Hot Wheels cars, um, I found out about, about, found out about them and thought, oh, that's quite good for the sort of more, you know, the people who collect them instead of um, playing with them. It's something to look out for. The thing is about them, though, that ever since I've started looking for Hot Wheels treasure hunts, I've been so focused on them, and it's kind of ruined the idea of, buying and collecting Hot Wheels for what they are. It's like, I'm just looking for treasure hunts all the time, and when I don't find them, I get annoyed, and as you can see here, I've got two treasure hunts, but they're not new ones, because, well, I had to buy these off eBay, because I can't find treasure hunts. I, I have not yet found one. I've been to shops across miles out of the way of the area I live in, yet I still can't find any. As, like, if you watched my video where I do a trip to Maidstone, I go to two Toys R Us shops and a Smith's Toys, which are big shops, you know, and they just had nothing. It was really disappointing, and I went all that way and used so much fuel, and yeah, it really wasn't worth it. If you want to watch that, I might link it. I don't know how this works, so I might link it there. If I can't do that, it might be in that little suggestion box up there. Or if I can't do that, it'll be in the description down below. It depends how good I am at doing that, because I've never tried. So yeah. I've got two old ones here that I bought off eBay, as you do. You can tell they're older because they actually have the green things on the side. I've also got a Lakester here with the green thing, but this one actually does say TH on the uh, top there. So yeah, I've got sort of a love-hate because of course it's kind of ruined the the idea of it for me, but also because I keep looking for them, I always go in more than I would need to go in, so I do find some random finds like this. I found this today at my local Tesco's that I usually go to and I was, I was quite happy with it. It's, not, it's a 2017 model but I thought yeah that's quite a nice sign, it's a nice model. So yeah it's, it looks quite nice. A green Lamborghini Veveno. Feve no, Veneno. Veneno, that's better. I've just noticed, is that cracked? Is that screen cracked? Mmm, that better just be like something I can rub off. I swear to god if that's cracked. I should really look at the model before I buy them. I just go, well, that's cool, buy it, and then I look at it closer and realise it's usually damaged, which is probably the reason why it's there. But yeah, I found this today. It's um, It looks really good, actually. If that thing on the screen rubs off... It's not that, is it? No, it's definitely on the screen. Hmm. I hope that, that does look like a crack. I've always got to be disappointed, haven't I? But yeah, what... The, so, I mean, it does open me to finding more, you know, of the mainline models. And it makes me look harder, it makes me search for them. But it is disappointing when I don't find any. And then it disappoints the fact that I've only found this, even though I should be happy. And what also annoys me is I have a... I go to I go to Tesco's, which is a popular shop in the UK. It's a sort of grocery store. And uh, I usually buy them from there. But with um, places like Tesco's... They don't. They don't put. They don't stock long cards. They never stock long cards. They barely ever stock them. They only have the short cards, and they they don't put them on pegs like you would see. They don't hang them up by this little hook here. They put them in boxes, and they just sort of you know. So you just sort of move them all around all together in this sort of box. Although I did find this, but I'm annoyed about the screen now. So, and I can't find any 2017 treasure hunts. No, I don't find any of those. Keep finding the ones that look like it, but oh, they're not the actual one. No, oh, it's so annoying. And now that the, they've got the 50th anniversary cars out now, they look amazing. Like these look so cool. And I bet you, I bet you 150%, I will never find these in the UK. So I've got the option of I'm going to have to buy them from America, and it's just it's so much money because it's like 16 pounds to ship one car from America. That's one car, it costs £16, which I'll put the dollar sign up. And that's not even paying for the car. I don't know. I just wish I had some more 2018 models and some more long cards. It'd be nice. Please, someone, some shop somewhere near me, please listen to me and stock them. Please. 
how do I get my hands on a case? How do I get my hands on an American and a USA case? That's what I want to know. Can I just have one, please? Although it's probably going to cost a lot of money, which I don't have. Oh well. That's it for my mini rant. My, do you know what? Let's open this and see if that screen is cracked. I'm going to jump cut to this. Oh, I'm getting a lot more, a lot more precision with my knife cutting skills now. That was very smooth. So there it is, out of the box. As you can see, this mark's still there. Does it rub off? No. Yeah, that's. It's not. It's not cracked, but it is really badly scratched. Now, how does that happen? Does it come like the? Is it come out the factory like that? Is that why it was there? Is it something that? I'm just really disappointed in it actually. Come on camera, focus. Focus on this disgrace. Is it common for Hot Wheels cars to come out like look at it? It's not it's got a little mark there as well. There's something How does it happen? It's never been out of the box, I just I mean this this is this is in pretty good condition as well considering. Only that only this corner's slightly bent. And that's actually really good considering of how they get stored in the shops. That is so annoying. Otherwise, apart from that scratch, it's a really nice model and it seems pretty well. Yeah, all the rest of it, all the detailing's good. Well, I mean, from when it's not focused, it looks pretty good. It looks great from this angle. With with the camera, but if they are with eyesight, you can just constantly see it. Yeah, that ain't coming off. That is a proper scratch. You can sort of, you can feel it when you run your nail over it. Mm. Oh well. Maybe if I find another one, and another, and another uh, GTR 33, that'd be nice. If I can find the cover, there we go. One of these again. And guess what? This is a 2018 model. Um, so I won't find this either because no one bloody stocks it. Oh well, that's enough of this rant video. I'm gonna go and cry. I don't know.